All righty then, hold on to your gadgets. After today's tech update, we've got a call from my weekend show, The Kim Commando Show, that's just too good to skip. Let's revisit the massive AT&T service outage this past Thursday morning. Customers couldn't even reach 911 for an emergency call. And now, after three full days, AT&T says it thinks it knows what happened. I'm Kim Commando, brought to you by NetSuite. Own a business? Visit netsuite.com slash kim today and get NetSuite's KPI checklist absolutely free. AT&T seems to be hoping that the news of last week's massive service outage will just fade away into the noise of Biden and Trump in the Middle East. But what happened was a direct threat to your family's safety. The company says it's pretty sure that it wasn't terrorism. That's comforting. Instead, quoting AT&T, the outage was caused by the application and execution of an incorrect process used as we were expanding our network. Did you get that? Let me translate. Our tech screwed up while we were updating the system and brought the whole house of cards down. Again, very comforting. Join a half a million folks who get tech smart at getkim.com. Now, check out this amazing call from the show. It's a real gem. Let's see, David in Bloomington, Illinois. Hi there, David. Glad to have you with us today. Well, hello, Kim. It's nice to talk to you. Never thought I'd have a reason to call you, but here we are. Okay, um, have at it. Well, I recently had some insulation update to my house. Um, I installed a TV antenna in my attic and noticed the insulation was poor, so I contracted a company to uh, update my insulation, and one of the things they did was put a product called eShield Okay. <clears throat> completely underneath my roof, so it's basically wrapping my house with an aluminum blanket. Okay. Well, since they did that, that rendered my TV antenna useless. Well, and also, my cell phone won't work inside my house. <clears throat> I'm currently sitting in my garage, detached garage, talking to you because oh, my cell phone doesn't work in my house. All right. So I have a two-part question, one actually a question, the other a concern. Uh, the question is, is there a way to restore cell phone use without having to uh, rip that product back out and waste the money that I spent on that? Well, yes, you can You can get your cell phone coverage back. You can. But it's not going to be cheap, David. Um, you know, too bad they didn't tell you that this was going to happen when they installed it. Gosh, it seems well, like that should have been yeah, the a guy, disclaimer. When I, when, I brought that, when I brought that concern up to him, uh, after I talked to him after it was done, he said, didn't we talk about that? And, of course, the answer, obviously, is no, we didn't talk about that. Oh, well, that's that would be something I would bring to the attention of the Better Business Bureau or write a review on Yelp well, when people look them up. Um, all right, so there's a product called WeBoost Home Complete Signal Booster. So here's how it works. You're going to put an antenna on your roof. You can either attach to the side of your house or if you have um, – you know, maybe a, a ventilation pipe, you can actually attach it, attach it to there. And so that's going to be your cell phone antenna. Uh, and then you're going to run that cord directly into your house where it's going to plug into a box, kind of almost like a router type of situation. And then it's going to spread that cell phone signal all throughout your house. And the WeBoost product that I'm talking about does homes up to 7,500 square feet. So it's pretty powerful. Now, the downside to this, what do you think the downside is, David? Well, I, was, I would guess it's out there on the airwaves where people can get it. Well, not that. The downside is the price, okay? Oh. I don't know how much you spent for the installation, but the solution is, I hope you're sitting down, it's $999, okay? Well, that's about a third of what it costs to get the problem installed. No, well, that's to get the. That was, I like the way you put that to get the problem installed. You know, I would definitely write a letter to whoever put this insulation in your house and see if maybe uh, they're willing to even split the cost with you. You know, maybe you offer them, say, listen, you know, it wasn't the best deal. You should have told me this. You need somebody to sign that they actually understood what they were doing, what you were doing, and uh, it's a thousand bucks. Give me five hundred, and then I'll be a happy customer. That's what I would do, David. Hey, thanks for lending me your ears. Now, if you have a question just itching for an answer, super easy. Just swing by commando.com and click where it says email Kim. 
I promise I read each and every note you send. And don't miss out on text top stories. Subscribe to my free daily newsletter over at getkim.com.